Hey everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. So I really hope I'm in frame. I'm doing this kind of odd, um, but I wanted to take you around my house and kind of show you my warmer tour and like home fragrance type setup. So I'm going to take you around. I'm going to actually flip the camera around so you can see where we're going. Hopefully if you're somebody who gets like dizzy watching videos, this may not be the video for you because I am going to walk around my place. Um, but I just wanted to like take you around and show you what I have. So I'm going to turn the camera around. Okay. Um, yes, you're going to see mess. We really do live here. So like it's not super clean. So this is the master bathroom and I'm going to like show you guys everything. So to start off with, I hate how this is set up, but literally our plug-in is right below this thing, but whatever. So in here, I just have a wallflower and it actually has a nightlight if you can tell. And that's why we have it in here. Um, this room has like no windows or anything. It gets really, really dark even during the day when the sun's out. So having this is super helpful. Um, and then I just have a wallflower in there, but I also have this candle warmer. I have toothbrushes, um, which I have going at night. I'll turn it on. I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but it has like a slight glow like a candle would like I don't know if you can tell it flickering um I'm pretty sure this is only like a 10 watt warmer oh oh okay um but it does actually very well and if this bathroom's not that big so like it does fine um so that gives off a little light at nighttime but during the day I just have the wallflower going with the nightlight okay so let's move on <laughs> I'm gonna try and not make you super dizzy but I apologize um, okay, so into the master bedroom. Those are my socks on the ground. <laughs> How embarrassing. Um, okay, the right here I have the glitter uh, magenta. Is that what this is called? So I'll turn it on for you just so you can see it. Um, I just have this right here because it's super close to the bed. Um, so I can literally reach over when it's time to go to bed and turn it off. Um, which is super, super nice. So I like to have it this close just to be able to, um, like use it as a tiny little nightlight. And then, like I said, I can turn it off when I'm done. Um, so that is fabulous. I'm literally finding things as I'm doing this. <laughs> okay. We're going to walk back by my socks and we're actually going to pick them up because that's hideous. Um, okay. Over here in this corner, which is like my uh, wax, oil, Scentsy brush. Um, this is actually my diffuser. So this is just like the deluxe diffuser that we have from Scentsy. Um, I do enjoy, like sometimes we'll just put it on this setting that like goes through all of the colors, uh, without even like diffusing any oil just cause it's one, a nice light, but it's pretty relaxing at nighttime. So I'm really bad about diffusing the oils, but I really do like it, even if I just use it for the nightlight. So let's continue on. I didn't say it was gonna be clean, okay? <laughs> so in here, I also have just like a really basic, generic wallflower. Um, we've been having, not an issue, but a room you know, like you sleep in it, it gets that spunky like smell going on. Um, and obviously we're like away at work most of the day. We haven't been any running any warmers like overnights. That's another story for another time, but I really need another way to just like keep it fresh in here. And so this has been my answer so far. Um, it actually does really, really well sending up the room. This is a new plugin though. So I think that kind of helps sometimes, but I, this is like a recent addition to the room. And then over here on our countertop, um, I have this warmer, which is one of the Walmart ones. It has this little like chip in the paint at the bottom, which is kind of a bummer because it's brown and then that's white. Like I should really get some touch up paint. Um, but this is those like $10, 24 watt. It has the timer, which is just like, boop, it's back there. Um, I'll turn this on for maybe like a couple, like an hour, or maybe a little bit more before bed just to kind of get like a nice evening scent into the room and then I can like use that wax for a decent amount of time uh, like days upon days um I was running this warmer like full overnight like I'd start it maybe an hour before we went to bed and run it full overnight uh, but Corey got concerned that it was getting too hot um, so 
Yep. <laughs> I'm not impressed, as you can tell. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> okay. So out here, it, our room, our master bedroom walks like right out in here into the living room. Yeah, sorry. Um, okay, so over here, actually, let's go over here. Okay, so this is like the most furthest corner of the living room. So this is like by our couch, as you can tell. So I have a warmer from Walmart with an Edison bulb, which is awesome. This one gets like really, really hot actually. Um, but I just have it chilling over here, but it produces like a lot of light, which is awesome. The scents in it obviously die off very fast because it gets very hot. <laughs> um, and then this is the Diamond Melt Glass Warmer from Scentsy. This is a 12 watt warmer, I want to say. Um, and then I have it on this little stand so that you can like see it like behind the couch kind of so it's not super short. Um, and I don't know if you can tell, I have these on a timer down there so that they come on like automatically at the end of the day, like when we get home from work. So on the other side of the room, I have these little things set up. So this right here is the Life's a Garden. No, no, no. It released with the Life's a Garden. It's the Happy Herbitat Warmer uh, from Scentsy. That one is a 25 watt bulb warmer. As you can see, like it has the lighting onto the wall, which I absolutely love. Uh, so this I run in the evenings. And then this warmer right here is from Walmart. I do believe it's a 20 watt. I have it plugged on an automatic timer as well. And I actually have it running like automatic to turn on in the mornings. And I do like a morning melt in there. Um, so like a coffee scent or a bakery scent, something nice for the morning. So that's what I have going on with these two. Some people might think this is excessive to have like these two right here and then those two over there. Uh, but okay. <laughs> okay, so we're going to continue on into the kitchen. It's like all kind of open right here. So I have this little guy right here. So this is the Lavender Love Mini Warmer. Um, and it perfectly matches the wow my house is so messy it perfectly matches that over there um so yeah it's super cute it's just a mini warmer so it's a 15 watt bulb but i think they really go well together and then it obviously like casts the light on the back so i think it's super cute and then in this corner right by our coffee maker um we have this this is my candle clock. So I actually just have this toggled on and then all I do is plug it in and it turns on. I usually run it like in the evenings into the morning. Um, so I unplug it while I'm away at work. And then this is the lid of the candle I've going in there. Actually, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Sometimes um, when I have stuff going in the candle clock, I like totally forget the lid because you don't need the lid, obviously. Okay. Down here, right by our trash can, I have a, another Wallflower plug-in. This one I've had since 2014 or 2016. Like, it's old as heck. Um, but it still does really well. I kind of like this right here because it doesn't release a ton of scent and, like, overwhelm me. But it is right next to the trash, and so it keeps it, like, mildly fresh, if you know what I mean. Um, and then, actually... In here, this is our like laundry area, and I just have my little pink cotton uh, fragrance flower, which is doing great, and it just keeps this area like really fresh. So I just have it right next to our laundry stuff. Okay, then probably don't want to show you my mail, but I have our little um, table right here. So <laughs> don't ask me about the little signage, but I have the letterboard warmer on here. Um, this is a 12 watt warmer and this thing heats up crazy fast. Like, I don't know if it's because it's not a dish on top of like a hot plate, it's just built right in. It goes freaking so fast. So I have that on here. Um, I would, potentially like to do some more like I want to put something down there like maybe like a bin or something I'm not super creative uh with decoration so I need to think of something so we still have our Easter stuff up um Easter was just this past Sunday so I haven't done anything with that but <laughs> our freaking sign anyway okay so if you literally like turn directly behind um on the kitchen table I have a warmer because you know me. Um, this is another one of those Walmart warmers. 
which has the timer. It's like the uh, 24 watt, $10, you can get it at Walmart. Um, yeah, and I also have that just sitting there. <laughs> Don't mind the nets. Um, so this one, since it's on the kitchen table, I also run this one in the morning as well. Since this one's on a timer, you can't start it automatically like with one of those plugins or on like a timer thing. Like you have to physically come and push the button to turn it on. Uh, but it does have a timer. So I just like turn it on in the morning and then the other one starts automatically. So I think it, they do fine. And I use the two of them. So it like generally sends this big area. So yeah, okay, let's continue on. Um, this is my half bath which I have bars just chilling. Um, but I have the mini etched core rose gold. Um, and I have this in here. It does fabulous in here. I mean, I don't need a lot in here. It's literally just a half bath. It's not that big. Um, but yeah, I literally keep some bars just chilling right here. These are the bars I want to use up in that warmer. Uh, so I just keep them in here by it. So that's what I have in here. It also gives like a decent amount of light which I enjoy. Okay, um, right across here, this is our utility closet, which I'm not going to open, but I have a fragrance flower in there as well, just to keep it a little bit fresh. Uh, this is kind of like right by our front door. I have this Wallflower Duo plug-in from Bath & Body Works. So what this does is it does one scent for two days and then it flips and does another scent for two days and it goes back and forth so you don't get nose blind. Um, this kind of fragrances like our main entryway area and then also goes like up the stairs pretty good. So um, I've moved this around a couple times. I had it by the one uh, where the one is by the trash can, but it was just like overpowering my wax and the wax I want to be the main focal point. So I kind of put it over here and there's nothing else over here. So I don't feel like it competes with anything. This is our humidifier because we live in friggin' where it's so dry. <laughs> so we have to have that. Okay, we're going upstairs. Um, let's, oh, here, right at the top of the stairs, actually, I have the wall fan that lights up. Uh, this is from Sensi. This is our fan diffuser system that has the pods that go inside. Um, and this is the one that lights up. So I do believe this costs $30 versus $25 but it's super nice for the evening. It just like lights up the stairs perfectly. And so I have that at the top of the stairs. Okay, now let's go into Corey's office. So <laughs> he just has this tiny mini warmer, which is the Alabaster mini warmer. Um, I had this downstairs and then when I got the Lavender Love mini warmer, I brought it up here for him. Uh, he's not like super into scents, but I did give him this little basket with scents in it. So. He's, you know, he has his scents if he wants to warm them. It's empty because I took out the wax for him because I don't think he knows how to do that. Um, but yeah, so this is in his office. Sometimes if it just gets a little bit stank in here, I'll turn it on myself. <laughs> okay. So then across the hall here, we did some shopping. But then also, okay, let me move some of this stuff. So sorry, I have this warmer once again. This is the same Walmart warmer with the timer. This, since it's in our guest room, I usually will just like turn on and let it go for its length of time and then it automatically turns off and it's great. It keeps it fresh up here. So I enjoyed this one. And then my plants are up here. Okay. Um. Then we have the... This isn't the mess, this is the guest bath, but it's like a full bath. So I have a couple things going on in here. I have this big warmer. It's not really that big, I don't know why I said that, but this is from Walmart. It's a freaking good warmer. Um, if you want like not an element warmer, but one that throws really well, I highly recommend this one. I don't, it gets hot, but I don't feel like it gets as hot as the Edison one downstairs. And it has a huge dish. Um, I'm warming some really messy wax and that's why it looks like that, but I really like this warmer. It does really well. Um, and then I also have a little wallflower in here and then this one lights up as well. I don't know if you can tell that. Um, so I enjoyed this. So typically I'll turn this off at nighttime, but then you still have this little nightlight in case we did have guests or whatever the case might be. Um, and it keeps it fresh like for the overnights and then during the day when the warmer's not running. Okay. 
And then lastly, we're going into my office, which is also extremely dirty, so don't mind that. Um, let's start over here. So over here, I have a hodgepodge of stuff. Um, this is the same warmer as downstairs, which I also have plugged into an automatic timer that runs in the morning. So while I get ready, I typically will do, like I said, a bakery scent, a coffee scent, etc. This is a diffuser from Target. It's very, very pretty, as you can see. Um, but I will just like diffuse my Scentsy oils in there. It's very nice. This is the Glimmer and Glow Warmer, and it has the updated lid on the top. So I really enjoy this warmer. Um, this is an element warmer. I think it's like 15 watts, maybe. It does really, really well. Um, and the dish is fairly big, so it's really pretty. I really like that one. And it puts off a ton of light with those LED lights. And then literally right across the way here is where I have everything. Um, this is like my candle hoard. I was going to say stash, but it's a lot. Um, I have this other warmer that I put candles on. So once I take them off my crock, I will typically put them on here just to finish their lives out. This is the Rose Gold Etch Core Warmer which I love, it's awesome. And then I also have this one, which was a warmer from the scent of the month. Um, and it has like these wraps that you can change out. It also has a fairly big dish and I feel like this is a good performer as well. So, and then I just have these little, this is like my Walmart receipt. Um, this is a tea light I bought off Amazon, a tea light warmer, and then this, he holds candles. He's cute. Um, so yeah, this is my like little setup over here. I typically will like film in front of this, uh, but that's all the stuff that's behind me. That's Corey's corner right there. Um, <laughs> those are, mine's all down there and then that's his little stuff right there. <laughs> so that is basically the setup I have of my home fragrance. I know it's a lot um, and I don't run everything at the same time, but I have a lot of things and I like to display them. And honestly, I just want it to smell good in here. So I'm kind of I mean, we all know I'm obsessed with this kind of stuff. So that is the basis. So let me know how many warmers you guys have down below or do you use a combination like the wallflowers, this, the diffusers, everything. Let me know down below. I would love to hear. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.